is there's still gonna be a delay so we're gonna hop into training and what I'm trying to do is put a logical objective on how to get better at playing Street Fighter 5 so I'm gonna click in training in three two one now what's important in being uh, good at improving yourself whether whether it's trying a new character or one that you're already familiar with we're gonna start with brand new we're gonna mess with Chun-Li I don't I haven't used her at all don't know her at all so we're gonna pick her put her in pretty pink and let's beat up Bison even though it's not Tuesday um, <laughs> Go right into it. What you want to start out with is simply knowing the buttons of your character. Go through all of them methodically. Start with your light punches. Jumping lights, jump in them. All right, and then just progressively move on. Check out your medium punches. Check them how they feel in the air, how they feel on the ground. Skip the light on that one. Move on to hard punch. Now you see this hard punch has a lot of range on it, so try to find the spacing. Of where you can effectively use the hard punch. Jumping hard punch. Ground hard punch. And then move on to your kicks. Light kick. Medium kick. Find the range of that medium kick. It looks good. And if we, if something I found out with Chun Li, if I press the medium kick and I miss, I can keep pressing it, and it eventually hit Bison. That means it moves her forward, even though it's really only a little bit. It does move her forward without me doing so. It's important to know. Hard kick, lot of range on that one. Wow, that one missed. Let's check the hard punch. That kick looks farther than the punch. Punch missed. Kick hits. The kick is the longest one that she has. However, punch looks like it hits in the middle. While the kick probably only hits high. You look how high that goes, it's probably only high. And usually down kicks your sweep. Check out the range on that. That misses. Hard punch reaches though, so in terms of range, we have been able to find out that it goes hard kick, hard punch, and then crouching hard kick. Probably medium kick. Let's see. Hard kick misses, medium kick hits. So medium kick is longer than your crouching hard kick. So, now that we've gotten familiar with the buttons of Chun-Li, you know that when you're moving, about where your spacing is. Oh, she has a forward kick. I just ran into that, but we'll go into that later. Maybe when chun -Li's backing up. Oh, she has this up kick. Very important that this kick is neutral. It's different depending on which direction you're pressing. All right, we'll make a note of that. So, when you're fighting the game, you have to find... Oh, she has this one. It's a back and hard punch you'll find new things with your character all the time it's important to figure things out but I digress alright the command list is always good and we'll now move into her super moves so she has Kyokin which is her fireball I can't pronounce that I'm sorry but it we'll see what that does we have an airborne one so we'll figure out what that does in the air the spinning bird kick and these are all her moves all four so we'll just go through all four of them 
and check them out. And always check them out with different strengths, light, medium, or hard. So, light, all right, full screen, hits. Not quite, not quite full screen. Medium punch, it goes even shorter but flies faster. If we do hard punch, it goes really fast, but definitely is the shortest of the bunch. So it seems like when you're using Chun-Li and you're back really far, you use a light punch, you can follow behind it because it's slower and goes farther. Contrast to when you do a hard punch, I can't even start the dash before it finishes. So let's say I trip him. Hard punch goes too far. Trip him. Light punch. Better. What if I go hard, uh, shoot, this won't work. What if I back up? That came out kind of quick and hit him pretty early. It's a catch him off guard if you use the hard punch. And because this is Street Fighter V, if you have, I'll show my button configs on how I play. Um, I have my lights, my mediums, my hards. Lights, mediums, and hearts. People have their own style. Whatever is comfortable with you, that's up to you. I like my lights and mediums accessible up front and my hearts up on top on the shoulder buttons. And then on the bottom, trigger, shoulder, trigger, shoulder, whatever tech, technical term that is, I have my three punches and three kicks. Easy way to... Oh, I messed up. Uh, Boom. Medium kick's still there? All right. So whenever I do a move, I just have to hit the all punch button. Hits twice and probably goes full screen. Alright. So now we move on to her next move, which was fireball motion with a kick. Which is her lightning legs now. Let's see. Four hits for a light version. Five hits for a medium version. Six. And you notice how she turned to her side? She took a step in on her hard and launched it. So this one is for when there's a little bit of a back range to it. While the short steps forward a little bit. Medium a little bit longer. So there's some movement when it comes to this move. Now, in most cases, a Street Fighter, just by nature and knowing the game, lights are usually safe, hards are usually not, medium depends. That's not always true. It depends on each character. The, on websites, there are frame datas, and you can math it out and f understand what's safe or not. And now we do EX. She does both of her lay kicks, and she can do it in the air. Hard kick, uh, the EX kick keeps her in the air. Light kick, she comes down. What about medium and hard? Medium she does. Hard she stays more in the air. So it looks like depending on which kick you do, progressively changes her tra trajectory. Alright. And I forgot what her other moves are. So I'll check. That was the air. Spinning bird kick. Down. That was a hard version at 8. Let's see how far it travels. Pretty far. Not quite reaching full distance. If we do medium, it stops a tad shorter and you guessed it, light. Really short. Least amount of hits. 5 hits. It looks like the hard version takes longer to start up. If you go 1-1, one, one, almost 1-1,000, one, one it started hitting. If you do the light, one, I didn't even get to the 1, so the light comes out quicker. Speed at which moves come out are very important. And now, oh, no dummy settings. Command list. We move on to the unique attacks. These are, these are usually like overhead moves. They change a variety of... The move itself and we already discovered some of these when, I, when we were going through the initial buttons so 
now we can properly, and she has a ton of them, go through them. Now it looks like we have a forward or backwards medium punch and a backwards hard punch. We'll start with that. So that's a regular medium punch. Forward or backwards, she's got a she throws out has longer range by far. I'm not sure when you would ever use this short chop. That's real short, but this one really out there. So this one's got some range, and there's your regular hard punch, and then her back one, which was a staple for Chun Li, but admittingly, I don't see a use for a move this short. It can be comboed into? Yes, it can. So as we continue on, a down forward medium kick, a back high kick, a forward high kick, a down forward high kick. Wow. All right. So we'll start with the down forward medium kick. There's our regular medium kick. Ah. I bet this has overhead properties. You can do test dummies if you have a person that can help. Or just by trying to move in a casual match when somebody's ducking down, you'll find out if this is overhead or not. Or in your own experience. In my own experience, this has gotten me when I'm crouch blocking. So it's most likely an overhead. Now the kicks that we've done. Regular hard kick. Back hard kick. Forward hard kick. And the down forward. Ah, which is her rope -a dope kick, right there. The kick itself is automatic, you just have to do the motion. Alright, almost done with the unique attacks. During jump, this is her head stomp. Yoso, Yoso Kyaku? I can't speak Japanese, I only try. And a wall jump, so. Wall jump. She can wall jump. Head stomp. She can do one, two, three. I wonder if I could ever get the third one. It may be against... Let's try. We changed the dummy to a jump. Alright, so we get one. One. Oh, nope, nope. One, two, three. So that's what you get. One. What if I change it up and don't do one, two, hard kick? Nope. Only the head stomps connect. Alright. Couple final things over the basic controls. We have the V system. Uh, v system is unique to Street Fighter V. Everybody's V system is different. Everybody's V reversal is basically the same command, just what they do is unique to them. Characterization, getting to know your characters, always try it out. So we're gonna try medium punch and medium kick first. Her neutral skill is this jump upwards, which probably can go into things. Alright. I wonder if her head stop works. Not quite. Her hard punch and her hard kick seem rather effective. If you get the spacing right, there's a lot of spacing in this. One dash back won't do it. And now the V trigger. It seems to hit two or th Wow. It seems that if it's like a medium punch, it hits twice. A hard punch hits three times. So, that's a special ability. I wonder if I could go... I can't really connect them together. 
So, continuing on, there is one last. Normal throws, they all can throw. If you press the light punch, light kick in either direction, they throw. That's universal, all of them. Alright, and now we need to, to learn her critical art. Fireball motion twice and kick. Get a good look at it. So there we go. That's her critical art. So now that we have gone over all of the buttons, it's time to distinguish what buttons are good for us, what buttons we will um, really tend to use when we're in a match, and most importantly, but comes later, what buttons combo. So, we have already distinguished our poke buttons, things like the hard punch. A poke is an attack at a range, somewhere near your max distance, called footsies, because you could trip them, trying to work where your range is. Those are your pokes. Which ones are our pokes? How is this? From this distance, how is it from this distance? You got a sliding, so you got an incoming one. So we got our pokes. Now we're gonna find our our which buttons do we think are useless and for what reasons? On the ground, light punch. It combos twice. Comes out like a light punch should. Crouching. Crouching seems to come out faster. Light kick. Light kick does not look like it has much use. I have learned from experience that if an opponent jumps at you, this light kick is really good at taking them out of the air. Even if they try to attack, you can catch them. Let's try a hard kick, because that one's up in the air. Kind of kind of misses. It's really out there. It's really good for when somebody jumps really far back. It can trade, though. It's slower. Not as reliable as the light kick. But she also has this kick. So if somebody jumps at you... Oh, nope. Too close. What if they kind of like... They're trying to do a cross-up over you. You can catch them in the air with this move. Light doesn't reach. They jump straight up, probably also when they're near you. It will catch them. All right. So these are some of the basic Annie airs and go-to moves, because Chun Li doesn't have an uppercut. Now let's try some of the jumping moves. Light punch usually never gets used. Light kick. This weird kick has no range. See, our hard kick has range. Light kick doesn't. We will most likely never use these moves in the air. Medium punch. Has this elbow kinda high. I miss Bison if I do it kinda early. If I do the same timing with a hard kick, I land. So this punch, maybe if you meet your opponent in the air, but it doesn't really seem like a good move. I'm going to drop this move from my repertoire. Now, medium kick, outward. How is it going down? It's good. It's pretty good going down, better than the medium punch. It can still miss, so you got to be wary of it, and does it cross up? I missed. Look, we got a cross up. And what's great about Street Fighter V is that you will get a confirm on the left if you got a cross up, as we did right there. So, this is our cross up attack. Usually, hards don't cross up. That was overhead. Missed. Missed. Hard punch. Miss. Miss. Hards only really hit in the front. Well, this medium kick will cross up. 
So that is where our cross-up potential is, and this button will get used. Whenever you're in a fight, you trip them, and then cross them up. That's our go-to button in the air. And we have both hard punch, which hits twice. Once, if you miss the first time. So there's some leeway on this. And hard kick. Which one is better right now? I don't know. That will come with time and experience. Now, once you get your buttons down, the next comes the fun part. This is the next level, which is combos, which is learning what buttons will combo into each other. This light kick, light punch, it can combo. Lights are usually tight. They can be a little hard. Usually mediums are the best place to start. And you don't have to be wacko like I'm going to show you right now. Even though that didn't combo. Does this combo? No, this doesn't combo. Does that combo? Alright. I have found out just by messing around. Crouching light punch, standing medium punch combos. If I do it right. Standing medium and crouching medium kick combos. If I do it right. The timing seems tight. So that takes what I like to call pro timing. Which I don't got. Which is why this is my almost pro series. Crouching kick is it cancelable? Is standing medium punch cancelable? And considering her move list, if we look at her move list, there's a fireball which needs to be charged. That's kind of hard to do. Her crouching meat, her crouching spinning bird kick can be comboed, but it has to be charged. Those can be hard on a next level combo kind of scale. So the looks like the one that we're going to is the fireball motion kick. So, if we do a light kick, we get four hits out of it. Four hits. So anything we combo should be five. Standing medium punch, five hits. It combos. Crouching medium kick, hits. It combos. Can we do lights? I mashed out fireball motion and kick, which is done twice as her super. That's very bad. If you're not pro, it's bad. If you're regular people, it's... That's reality. Doesn't look like it combos. What if we do punch? Punch does combo. Standing light punch. Does combo. What if we do two light punches? We get it. Alright. Usually hard punches don't cancel. By cancel, the term is... is using a regular attack into a special move. If it combos, usually because you can cancel mid of the attack into the next attack. So, if we start stringing them together, five hits, didn't quite get it together. I gotta practice that one. Right, one, two, one, two. One, two. If he doesn't fall down. One, two. One, two. Oh, one, two. Nope, not yet. One, two, three. Six hits. Alright. So, what we have is that as our combo renderer, we want to figure out what we can do to her combo. We figured out that low to medium connects. Medium to medium will connect. All this timing is really tight. And medium into kicks does work. So we have four hits. One, two, three. So if I can math, seven. If we do it right, it is seven hits. Five. Six. That felt good because the spacing of this of the last hit some of it misses because of the range that it has 
All right. Now, as we learned earlier, the medium kick and the light kick, the medium goes forward a bit more. We could possibly utilize this if it works. If we do a light punch to a medium, six hits. It was just a regular just to find out. Five hits. So you can get this. I can't now. I, I broke. We can get this to go together. Most likely mediums will work. All right, let's string it all together now. Boom, boom, boom. Two hits. Almost. That's kind of skewered because he was stunned. We'll do a retest. Not quite, because only two hits going into the kick. It needs to be three. Nope, I'm having trouble with the first one. Alright, eight hits. And of course, you can always add on top a jump in. The jump in is the easiest combo starter and the best. However, good players won't just give this to you. But in practice, it's good practice to hit it when you can. Oh, she has two on her fierce punch and one on her kick. For easier timing, I'm going to do the kick. I won't worry about damage percentages and all that stuff. If you land it, for the most part, you're good. I did a light kick just on reaction. However, I like the way that came out. Ah, she got he got pushed back too far on that one. Nope, miss execution. Get over there, Bison. Nine hits. That was probably a successful combination. So, now that we have some basis of her combos... She doesn't have really any other moves to go into her combos. There are usually only two or three that you can do. Lights. And some sort of medium punch version of it. Which in this case is there, 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 there. If I get it all right. If I just get... Just the two. Let's try a standing medium kick. It doesn't look like it can convert. No. So, we've exhausted our options on what we can do. And one more to try out is her EX. Because the EX is the get the damage button. Most important concept in Street Fighter V. If you're not saving it for the full meter or if you get the jump in opportunity that you've been waiting for. Give it all you've got. We can go. Now we have our jump ins. The more that we get is our cross up. I'm going to skip the light punch to give myself less margin of error. This light punch is probably good after you trip them and they're coming up. And you want that light punch to kind of see where you're at and be sure. One thing that I failed to mention is we need to try her hard kick. Her hard late lightning late kicks. Sometimes moves will work in different variations, and this one's no exception. So, plain do it. We got six hits, so we're looking for seven. All right, we have seven hits. If we go put that in to the combo that we had, we should get more hits. Great math, right? Seven hits. I messed up. Not pro yet. Nine hits. Looks very appropriate. Lots of hits. Get that big damage in. Now, all that's left is to figure out... There are two things left in Street Fighter V. I'm skipping ahead. But, 
is to figure out her critical attack. You want, you don't ever want to do this move just flat out. You want to be able to do it at the end of the combo and get lots of damage. But, there's the ultimate way to do it and then there's finding enough to do it. So, let's say if I go in with a hard jumping, well, let's do the, let's do it first. It's like, how many hits? 37 hits. So we're looking for 38, and we'll see if this works. And it will look like it. Alright. So there's something simple. But let's say we get it and it's a little bit slow. Thirty-seven. So, not that it's there if the timing is perfect, and probably the same with medium punches. Oh, we'll try a crouching medium kick. It seems more plausible. Alright, so let's say we're going back and forth and I catch him with that with a low medium kick. Oh no, 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 we're fighting. Boom! Getting the confirms off of your regular attacks is what makes the combos work in Street Fighter. Usually, you need to see it happen for you to feel comfortable. That's why usually chains like boom, boom, boom make you feel comfortable into activating it. However, it can be hard. You see how that worked? Because her super is a double fireball motion, but her regular lightning kicks is one fireball motion. If you're terrible like me and just keep throwing out fireball motion and pressing kicks, you can make things happen. Like that. If you're really good, you can be pro and do it in one instant. So when you're so when you have a full meter, probably look up for that cross up medium punch medium kick into lightning kicks into the super just go boom 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 and then just start throwing it doesn't matter whether you're pro or an amateur like me it doesn't have to look pretty but I keep throwing out that fireball motion and kick after the other hits are sure to have hit you'll look good almost good we'll try again One last thing uh, I should check this move that seems useless can combo into her kicks. This brings up to the last and final point which is her V trigger. The V trigger adds extra hits which is great which probably allows you to double hit boom double hit oh double hit in, in the kicks as well double hit double hit which will help it make it easier to put it together that's how I see Chun-Li's V trigger skill helping with those kinds of things because you get all of those extra hits 
Ball jump. I forgot she has that. I wonder if this can... It can. Maybe only after the first punch, because it is two punches. Right? After one punch, we can get kicks. After two punches, we don't get the kicks. Going back to V-Trigger, V-Trigger has an instant where you like recover from your attack so you can have more attacks. So I go in, jump, boom, activate, boom. I could probably try to hit him again after that in some way. I don't know how yet though. And there we go. That, ladies my gentlemen, is getting to know on a basic level, learning your character, learning what they can do, learning what moves they have, how they operate, and what to envision in your mind. On the next video, I'm going to have a partner play with me and mess around to get myself comfortable with trying out my combos in a semi live not quite online situation so I'll see you guys in that video I hope you enjoyed it leave a like leave a comment YouTube stuff woohoo it really helped me a lot if you got some critique go ahead and give it if you got internet flame rage, uh, I'll laugh and maybe block you. Alright, see you then.